please rise for a brief moment of silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, New Brighton. Today is Thursday, September 28th. Students, the yearbook staff wants your pictures. Submit your best school spirit photo of the year photo and contest by Monday, October 2nd, for a chance to receive $10 off your 2024 yearbook. Simply email your photo to yearbook at nbasd.org. Seniors, if you are interested in applying for the Lions Club Student of the Month, there are, there is still time. Stop in the guidance office for an application. The completed applications are due back in the guidance office by October 6th. Monday, October 2nd, there is a library aid meeting in the library during homeroom. Friday, October 6th, there is an ushers club meeting in the library during homeroom for anyone who signed up or would like to join. There will be a meeting for any boy interested in playing basketball on Wednesday, October 4th in the Little Theater with Mr. Barlowitz. Attention students that signed up to the ASVAB. This is a reminder that the ASVAB test will take place on today at 7.33 a.m. in the Little Theater. Please make sure to quickly check into homeroom and then report to the Little Theater. Any senior interested in possibly attending CCBC after graduation is also welcome to attend the CCBC Aim for the Future Friday field trip. If you can pick up permission slip in the guidance office, completed permissions slips are due back in the guidance office by October 10th. Absolutely no permission slips will be accepted after October 10th. Attention senior girls. Applications for the New Brighton Civics Women's Club Outstanding Senior Girl are now available in the guidance office. Complete applications must be turned into the guidance office and are due by the end of the day on October 30th. Archery trials take place on September and September, Saturday, October 7th and Saturday, October 21st for a three, from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m in the high school central gymnasium. Any students taking it, the SAT in October, this is, a reminding, this is a reminder that you must have a state ID, driver's license, or a school ID from the current school year. If you are in need of a school ID, please stop in the guidance office. Roslyn's is still hiring, and you can go to the store for applications. Students, if you are driving to school, please make sure you have a parking permit. These are mandatory and can be purchased for $10 in the guidance office. Parking permit applications are also available in the guidance office. Any sophomore or junior interested in a field trip to CCBC's Aim for the Future Friday to learn more about the academic, academics can pick up a permission slip in the guidance office. Completed permission slips are due back in guidance office by t October 10th. Absolutely no permission slips will be accepted after October 10th. Now on to sports. Good luck to the volleyball team at their away game against Central Valley tonight. And good luck to the cross country team at their multi-school meet against Laurel, Mohawk, and Union today. Today is partly cloudy with 17 chance of precipitation, a high of 67, and a low of 51. Now back to the news. Happy birthday to Savannah Heron. Lunch for today will be Korean BBQ bowl, mixed vegetables, turkey wrap, chicken sandwich, breaded chicken salad, and pizza. Menu subject to change. Have a great day, New Brighton. This is your weekly New Brighton sports review. The volleyball team beat Ulsh 3 to 1 with scores of 26 to 24, 25 to 6, 25 to 23, and 25 to 16. 
Thanks to Jenna Alaxon, who led the team in aces and kills, Sunny Fazio in assists, Amira Walker in blocks, and Alea McKenzie in digs. New Brighton Golf lost their match against Southside, 242 to 232, and Hopewell, 251 to 245. The team beat Beaver Falls 232 to 240 and Freedom 232 to 249. The Lions finished the regular season in second place at 9 to 3. The volleyball team lost to Quaker Valley with scores of 25 to 15, 25 to 9, and 25 to 8. Thanks to Sunny Fazio who led the team in aces and aces and assists, Carmen Bryan Sesco with blocks, Chloe Riser with digs, and Jenna Alaxon with kills. Both boys and girls cross country. Did uh, defeated BF on the 19th. Top male performer was Hunter Bailey, while Kate Nicholson took the honors for the ladies. Have a nice day.